welcome back to my channel hi guys i know i've been gone for a super 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 long time and let me just tell you i've been going through it we're not gonna get into that just know everything sorted itself out everybody's doing good everybody's happy everybody's healthy so i want to start today by showing you this shapewear i got this from shapelix well, some people in my last video were saying that i had on like shapewear under my shapewear the shorts that i had on like in the other video with the uh, full body one was pretty much the same mesh that's like on the back of these shorts they were just so you guys ain't seen it in my goodies so this time i'm not wearing anything under it and you'll probably be able to see it from the back but obviously i'm gonna cover myself but this is the new one i just received from them and let me tell you this is amazing so from first glance it probably just looks like a regular nude bodysuit but let me tell you all the technology that's up in here so first thing we have is this um first strap and it's holding it in the front i don't know for anyone else but when you bend down sometimes it can roll down and this is going to make sure that doesn't happen and then we have two full size um straps spaghetti straps um they go all the way to right here and i think they're really nice they're not like the uncomfortable spaghetti they're like very stretchy they're not like like hurting me so this has this panel on the front that presses your belly in but it stops like right here so you're not losing any like shape and you're not losing any um how would you say like losing any silhouette but it does definitely flatten you out from the front and then from the back we have the mesh the same great mesh from the last one that's not going to make you lose any booty volume and i'm not going to go too close so you can't see the back but that's the mesh right there it stops here you can pull it down you can pull it up but also you can take these straps off it gave me a second one of these little ones because sometimes i don't want to wear two straps so it gave me a second one of these and if you want you could do it on the two sides where it won't roll down i just did it on the front because this is how it is in the picture but I can definitely see you putting a small one on each side and then it not rolling down. It also has the um, anti-slip grip on the inside as well. Don't know if you can see that. There you go. The anti-slip grip in there. And of course, you know, that's the panty one. So, you know, if you're not someone who wants to wear a dress with just panties, this may not be good for dresses. But I could definitely see like jeans and stuff just because with the shorts, sometimes you get the line from the shaper into the jeans like you'll see it in the jeans so i think this would definitely be great for that but see this is my hundred dollar haul um i did my haul in walmart um i pretty much bought all of this at the same time there's only two items that i'm gonna have that i didn't buy at the same time and i have two items that i didn't buy at walmart and i bought them at family dollar because i was in there and they were cute so we're gonna jump right in we're gonna get started thank you for being here for another amazing video and i hope you stick out to the end see you then okay for this first outfit i have this little black number so as you can see i have the ruffles on the sleeves here which i think are very cute very girly although it is an all black piece sometimes i just want to wear something a little more simple if i back up a little more you see it's pretty much knee length in the back comes up a tiny bit because of my behind but not very much it's pretty much same length throughout and i don't know if you can see it in the camera i feel like the camera is not showing you very well but i have extra ripples like there's one here there's one down here which i think is so cute like i love the little layering look like not layering the stacked look of like all the different panels and also i have these really cute sandals these look a lot like Birkenstocks, don't they? I got these from Family Dollar for $5. Now, they're very glittery. They're very glittery and they were only $5. I bought a pair of real Birkenstocks that cost me $50 and I'm gonna show you those in a second. But I love these and these are the sandals. They were only $5. Okay, next up is this really pretty and pink tie-dye number. This is fabulous let me just say i'm in love with this dress i think it's so pretty and not as tan i was as i would like to be in this dress because i feel like it would look really popping on a little bit more of a tanner color but i think this dress is gorgeous nonetheless 
So first we're gonna start with this tie just because it's annoying me. Um, this tie, I wanna say it's supposed to be in the front, right? Because then if you have it in the front, you have like a little bow, okay, cute, whatever. But I don't tie bows all that well, so what I thought is I just put it in the back. There you go. So I thought I figured I'd tie it in the back just because I feel like it would give a little bit of a cinching right here. The only thing is I would be nervous that I wear it like that and if I tie it like this, it'll be up here. Like, I feel like, all right, right, like let's say I sit and then later on I get up, it'll be up here, like under my bra. So then it'll give it like a, my boobies are just, so I don't know, maybe if you wanna tie it loose and just have it kind of like a string around your waist, almost. Or, in all honesty, all together, you can just take it out. Um, I think the dress is gorgeous either way. But I'm just going to take this off for explanation purposes. Okay, so this is the dress without the string, right? So let's now move on to the ruffles. These ruffles I find very cute because it's not a full sleeve. But I have a shoulder tattoo, so I like the little peekaboo look right there. I love it. So this neckline is also not, it's a U-neck, but it's not like up here. So I think that's really flattering, really pretty. And my favorite part is it has a slit look. Well, it has two slits. And I think it's gorgeous. So let me just show you what I paired this with. I also paired these with some sandals from Family Dollar. They're just sparkly. So I probably pair this with either these sandals that are literally just sparkly. I got these from Family Dollar. Um, these are also $5. Compared to my $50 Birkenstocks, don't do it, ladies. $5. And the glitter hasn't been falling off. I don't feel like the glitter would fall off. The buckles are sturdy. I feel like it's, it's a good dupe. Very, very, very nice dupe. Okay, so now we have this tropical number. This dress is very cute. It's a very, like, button-down t-shirt material. I have three buttons right here in the front. I love the color. First and foremost, purple is my favorite color. Favorite color. Um, on the camera, it's coming out a little more pink. I don't know. It's showing more pink, like a really pastel pink. But in person, it's a very, like, lavender purple. Like a lighter lavender, but it's very much lavender purple. Like, it's purple. It looks pink on camera. But I love this. First off, I have pockets. I have pockets, like legitly. And they're not like baby girl clothes pockets. Like it's, I fit my whole hand in here. See? These pockets are great. And this part is very loose, which I love because it has some motion. And I think this top is just very flattering. Like I have a bigger chest, so I sometimes struggle to find things that cover the entire chest and still make me feel girly but i think the pattern being carried out throughout is very nice and it gives everything an equal like nice like attention these sleeves i love because they come um long enough to cover you know your little arms if you're a little insecure like myself um but they also are not like super long like i don't feel like i'm wearing three quarters i don't feel like i'm wearing like longer sleeves they feel kind of just like regular short sleeves like, I really like it. They they really just feel like short sleeves. But I love it. And this dress is very pretty. I love it. And I pair these with... These white Birkenstock dupes are from Walmart. And I believe these were $15. The ones from Frame Dollar were only $5. And these are $15. But I will say that these are heavier and a lot more dense. Like, I feel like... This is just heavier. Like, I don't feel like this will break as quickly as the other ones. Although, I don't think they will break. I just feel like these are heavier. These are a lot closer to the original Birkenstocks than the Family Dollar ones. The Family Dollar ones are very nice and very sturdy, but they just feel... They kind of feel like a dupe a little bit. These feel more like passing Birkenstocks. These are real Birkenstocks. These I've worn a hundred times. These are real Birkenstocks. So, um, as you can see, the inside is like, this is all cork material, right? So, the Family Dollar ones feels like they have this more on the inside. So, I wouldn't walk around a lot in the Family Dollar ones only because I feel like 
my feet will hurt after a while these are a little more soft on the inside and the walmart ones i feel like are a lot more soft on the inside so if you're somebody with like sensitive bottoms or, or like soles of your feet where if you rub them too much or like if you wear socks that are not like thick and your feet hurt these definitely the dupes the walmart dupes will be better because the inside is much softer these feel very much like a cork like the inside of this definitely feels like a wine bottle cork and so do the favorite dollar ones the walmart ones feel more memory foamish let me see if i can show you the difference so these are real these are fake obviously these look newer because i just got these um but if you look on the inside this just looks softer than this like this material on the inside is much softer than this but they're pretty much the same i just got a white pair black pair i mean blue pair and um you know the bottoms are different because this is the real one this is the fake one but i feel like these look a lot closer to these than these do these are family dollar middle of walmart these are working stock for real these were fifty dollars these were fifteen dollars and these were five dollars so like if you see the insides they all look very similar all the straps and everything these are obviously just a glitter pair if you look from i wanted to show from here if you look from the top right so these two have the white soles but if you, i'm talking about this corkscrew part these two don't really match these look closer and that's what i mean by like as you can see this is like real corkscrew like cork material from the wine bottle and this is a very good imitation this looks like they weren't really trying to fully go for it but they have like the strip to kind of resemble it and this is just softer so my preference comfortability wise is probably the walmart ones just because of the softness um style wise probably the family dollar ones because i really did want a sparkly pair um i'm not gonna say these were a waste of money i'm not gonna say these were bad uh i just bought these for myself because i figured i want to make some big girl purchases so i bought like a bag and some other stuff and i bought myself these and i don't regret it because they're nice it's just i wish i found these before i paid for these <laughs> so definitely if you're thinking about making a purchase you might want to look around for some dupes first because 50 dollars for these and three pairs of these for 15 and then five five ten twenty five dollars I got three sandals almost identical to these for half the price so you know just be careful when you're looking out i did want to show these part of my haul because i do want to show you guys how to be frugal and how to save your coin so i would definitely say for this i would have saved my coin like if i could still send these back i would but i've had these for a couple months now and i just have to eat it but i would definitely have saved my money with these okay for my last outfit i'm just going to show these shorts and this tank top these shorts are from walmart i didn't get them this week i'm not sure what day i got these but i'm going to talk about them anyway i think they were about ten dollars um and for these shorts i really love them because they have like this little ruffling at the top like they almost like you, you know how you like you think of a bucket hat right and it has the top and then it has the ruffle these are almost like bucket shorts like it has the bottom and then it has the ruffle out like this so like i really like these these also came with the string and again for me i'm just not very good at tying things i gave it my best shot before i came to the camera i tried but i'm just not that great like I need to watch some videos or something. If anybody has any suggestions, leave it in the comment box of a video where a girl can show me how to tie some stuff because I cannot tie these. So for myself, I would probably just take it off and wear it like this because I don't technically think it needs it. I, I don't think they're writing down or anything. And I like the length. Like it holds my little extra thigh and they come down pretty far in the back. I think that's pretty good length. Also, this tank top is from Walmart. Now, if you do not wear Walmart tank tops, where have you been? Walmart tank tops are literally the shits. This tank top was $2.98, $3.98, like two, three dollars. And it's super thick, super comfortable. Um, it's made of like super soft, buttery material. So it feels really nice. You don't get hot in this. If you're sweating, it's just gonna come right off. It's almost like athleisure stuff. And it is a tank top. 
I just tucked it in for the purposes of the um, outfit. But it is a tank top. And it has a nice shape. Usually I will wear these tank tops either with just jeans and sandals or with something like this where I'm wearing shorts. Um, but for the purpose of the shorts to show the top, I definitely did tuck it in. Oh, I messed it up. But I did tuck it in just to show you the top of these shorts because the ruffle I find is such a cute detail. And I wish I found more shorts like this. And I think the color is really nice. Like this coral color and the brightness of it is just really, really nice. And of course, I paired these with my family dollar dupes. And um, I think it goes really well. Black top, regular black sandals. I feel cute. I feel girly. But I don't feel like I'm doing too much. If that makes sense. Now, you were following the clothes change back here. You would know that there's a dress that didn't make it into the haul, which is this gorgeous, gorgeous number. Now, let me just say, I don't know what I was doing when I was shopping because everything else is in the 0x extra large, like 0x extra large, 1x, that's what it's in. Technically, it's the juniors extra large and then like the plus size. Anything that's here that's plus size was a 0x. Anything that was juniors was an extra large. I'm going to try to post it in the description, like the actual sizing as well. But these are all pretty much 0x is extra large. This, I got in the 2x. And I also think it's because this is not stretchy. Like the back part is stretchy, like this part. But the material for the skirt and the material for like the bust isn't stretchy. So I kind of just try to save myself and got a bigger size, which was wrong with me because it doesn't fit. But I'll probably include this into my next haul when I change it. But let me just say, this is really cute. For me, I probably pair this with my white sandals, which are somewhere up here. They're actually right here. I would probably pair these with these white sandals right here. And I think it's very cute. It only has a few buttons. They're not functional. Only the top one is functional, but the other buttons aren't functional. Um, these sleeves are not adjustable, but I think in my size I will be fine. Also, it has this back part that stretches, so if you're worried about back fat or having it uncomfortable under your arms, because like I said, this doesn't stretch. This is like cotton material. It's not stretching. Um, I would definitely get your original size. Also, it has pockets which I was super freaking excited for. And like I said with the other dress, they're pretty deep pockets. Like, this is the whole pocket. I'm pretty sure I could fit my entire phone in here and possibly some cash and chapsticks and stuff. You know, things girls carry. Just, we need pockets. So I also got this one from Walmart. I believe this one was 15 or 20. If it was 20 my $85 total came up to $105, but my sandals weren't bought at Walmart and they were bought at Family Dollar. So if you minus that $10, I'm actually the $10 under, that was $100. Like all of this, these three dresses, my shirt, my shorts, my shirt, this, these sandals, and both of the two glitter dupes make me at $110. But if you subtract the glitter dupes, I'm at $100. So, this jumpsuit is also from Walmart, and I freaking adore it. Now, if I'm going to wear this for a summertime, I would prefer it to be like a breezy day just because this is a little bit to get on. Like, it's a whole one-piece bodysuit, so you kind of have to like, you know. But if, if I was going to wear this with sandals, I'd probably wear it with my black glittery dupes because I have the black buttons and I find this so cute like I feel very secure it's stretchy like I feel very like I can move around in this I don't feel like it's gonna break I don't feel like you know like it's gonna going anywhere so I have these buttons in the back you could definitely do it more to cinch a little more but me personally it doesn't bother me because I do move around a lot at work so it's not really a big thing for me I will say though, this might get you a little hot because it's almost like a button up shirt material and it's pants and I just find it really cute for like a more windier day or at night. If you're going to go somewhere at night and you don't want to wear a dress because you're going to get cold eventually, this I think would definitely be cute to go to an afternoon, sunset thing, go to dinner, be on the town. And you don't feel exposed. You don't got to worry about no creeps under your dress. It's one whole piece. Like, I think it's very nice. And we got the collars. So, you know, I always love a good collar. 
Got the short sleeves that cover the arm fat. I think this one's just really cute. And like I said, with my black glitter sandals, I think are very cute. So, that was my entire 100 dollars haul. We're just going to run through the prices real quick. This, $15 to $20. I believe it was $15. If I can find it, I'm going to put it in the description box. But I think $15. $20. So, let's say $15, $20. That's $35. $10, $10. So, that's $20. We're going to be at $55. My black glitter dupes were $5. That's $60. These down here were $20, well, $15, so that's $75. The ones on my feet were $5, so that's $80. These, I'm pretty sure, were $10, so that was $90. This was $4. And I believe that's everything. And that's putting me at, what, 90 ish $100? So, thank you for watching my $100 haul. And I hope you definitely enjoyed it. Now I'm just going to make a few announcements. So thank you again for tuning in to another video. My phone died, so sorry for the switch up. Um, I just want to say thank you for watching my videos and definitely following me through this journey. And I hope my next video will be a new place. Um, I'm definitely going to try to do $100 hauls in other places. Definitely comment your favorite places to shop below. Um, this $100 haul was a little mix-up of Walmart and Family Dollar, but I definitely want to try some other stores, so definitely leave a comment. I think my next one might be Target. Um, Target, Marshalls, TJ Maxx maybe, Rainbows of course. Denise, I think we still have out here. So, yeah, definitely comment other things you would like to see. And let me just know any of your opinions, any of your ideas. Um, I really appreciate all the views. I love all the views. And be nice, be kind, and be happy. Mwah. So this is my voice from Beyond the Editing. And I just want to say thank you very much for tuning into my video. And I hope you follow me on Instagram at Mojo the Rainbow. And I will see you there.